everyone, today I'm going to be telling you about all the books I plan on reading in November. I'm really excited about this reader month, like I say every month, and I really hope I get more read in this month than I did last month, as I only got two books read in October, and that is really bad. A lot of the books on this list are books I mentioned last month, so obviously it's going to be a very similar TBR, but I hope you enjoy it anyway, and we'll get started. So one of the books I plan on reading in November is... Break and Dawn by Stephanie Mayer. This is the fourth book in the Twilight series. I really need to just get this read because that is the series finished once I've read it, so I really do want to get this read. I don't want to see too much about this book as it is the fourth and final book, but if you know the Twilight series, it's about Bella who moves to Forks to live with her dad and goes to school there, and at school she meets a guy called Edward Cullen. Edward turns out to be a vampire, and she ends up wanting to be a vampire, and her best friend Jacob's a werewolf, but werewolves and vampires don't get along, so yeah, it's, it's all about that kind of thing. Paranormal, vampires, werewolves. My description doesn't make it sound very good. There is very split reviews on this, I understand, and to be honest, the book series I'm not enjoying as much as I did the first time around, but I still want to get it finished. So yeah, I hope to get this read this month. The next book on my list is my reread from last month, and that was A Company of Swans by Eva Robotson. Now, I think this is about a ballerina who gets approached by a Russian ballet dancer, and she has to decide whether to go with him to pursue her career in the ballet industry, or whether to do what her dad wants her to do, because he really doesn't want her to go with this ballet dancer. I'm pretty sure that's what it's about. I can't fully remember it very well, but I will explain it a lot more in my wrap-up. Hopefully if I get this read this month. And the next book I plan on reading is The Art of Being Normal by Lisa Williamson. This is about a guy called David who wants to be a girl, and a guy called Leo who just wants to be invisible. And the two end up meeting when Leo sticks up for David in a fight, I think it is and they end up building this really unlikely friendship and yeah, I don't really know which else, that is pretty much all I know but I've heard nothing but amazing reviews on this one so I really do want to get around to this one soon and another book I plan on reading is The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins, I think it is, yes, Paula Hawkins and this is about a girl who goes to work on the same train every morning sees the same thing, sees the same people but one morning she sees something quite shocking and it's about that. I think it's some sort of psychological thriller. Sounds quite good. I'm really in the mood for something like that at the minute, so I definitely want to try and get this read soon. And of course, with the film being out as well, I want to see that too. And the final book I have planned this month is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, which is the third book in the Harry Potter series. I am loving rereading the series so far. I really just want to get through them all, but not too quickly because I don't want it to end again. I'm also re-watching all the films at the minute as well. I've only got Deathly Hallows Part 2 to go and I'm really enjoying re-watching all the films too. But yeah, this is the third book in the series and I don't want to say too much about it because obviously it is the third book and if you've not read it or not seen the films and you want to, then I don't want to spoil it for you. But of course it's about the wisdom world and Hogwarts and Harry, who is this wizard, who doesn't know he's a wizard, but finds out he's a wizard and ends up going to Hogwarts, which is the school of witchcraft and wizardry. And there's also Voldemort he's trying to fight against because he tried to kill him when he was a baby but failed and now he's after him. Yeah, it's really good. And my description really just ruined that, but it is so, so good. I'm sure you all know how good Harry Potter is anyway. I just absolutely love it. So they are all the books I have planned to read in the next month, and I hope to get around to as many of them as possible, but I do obviously have one more thing to do, and that is to pick a book from my rereads cup. I am already reading... how many rereads am I got on this? Three... three rereads already on that list in that pile. So my rereads are getting a bit stacked up, so I really hope I get through all of them. But we're going to pick something out of the jar anyway, so let's see what we get. I don't know what I'm going to get, I'm scared. Okay, what have we got? And just see it being another series. I'm going to be in between so many different series. Oh, it's not, and I'm really excited about this one. Oh, I'm so excited I've got this. I have got The Stuff of Nightmares by Malru Blackman. I remember reading this the first time around and really, really enjoying it, and I'm getting really excited now, can you tell? So this is The Stuff of Nightmares, and I, th as far as I can remember, it's about a school class, I think, that goes on a trip, and on the train they end up having a train crash, 
I don't really remember much else, but I do remember it being really, really good when I read it the first time around. And I really love Mallory Blackman as well, so I'm so excited to reread this one. I'm really, really happy about this one. So that is it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will try and get as many of these read as possible. Hopefully my month won't be too busy. I think it's fairly quiet this month in terms of where I am, because I do tend to move around quite a lot. But I have been working a lot over the weekends recently, so I haven't had my weekends free as well as my week, because I also work during the week. But we'll see what happens. I'm really excited, and I cannot wait to get around to all these books. Let me know what you plan on reading in November, as I would love to know. And if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, as always. And I will see you all in my next video very soon. Bye!